Horseshoe Bend, located in Page, about four hours north of Phoenix, is truly one of a kind. It's one of those kind of experiences that grabs every one of your senses. And it's, it's on people's bucket list now that this is a place they have to see. Hundreds of people make the trip out to see it. In fact, for the last few years, about 1.4 million people per year have stopped by. And with all those people comes that many more pictures. But it's the kind of photos being taken that may have you on edge, quite literally. I like the heights, so I like being as close as I can to the edge. The bold and the brave step right up to the rim to snap a photo. I hanging my leg uh, under rock. I was on the edge. My kind of picture, I do it all the time. I like it, but it's like I can calculate the risk. While others take a different approach. I've seen people get down on their stomachs and you know so that they can hang their head over the cliff. I don't know if uh, you saw but I was actually holding on to <laughs> her shorts because she's afraid of heights. Sadly one man got too close to the edge and fell to his death back in May. He was trying to take a picture at the time of uh, his accident. Mary Plum, the public information officer for Glen Canyon National Recreation Center, says the last time something like that happened was eight years ago. So we had one in 2010 where a visitor was standing on the edge on a rock that overhung and broke off. And that visitor went off with the rock. It's been years in the making, but now the city of Page and the National Park Service are switching things up. They're adding a new trail that will be ADA accessible and will eventually get rid of the current path. They're also adding this viewing platform equipped with a protective railing for those who prefer a barrier between them and the cliff. Small safety platform for viewing for people with, with wheelchairs and it's also really great for people with families with small children. Plus anybody whose comfort level, they want a safety railing instead of standing at the edge of, a, of an 800 foot cliff. The viewing platform is expected to open up in June and the new trail in January. I, I think that's great. Everyone should be able to see this regardless what your condition. A visitor facility will be built near the entrance with some shade structures along the way. And lastly, the city will expand the parking lot. Plum says the additions will help protect the environment as well as improve visitor experience. Glen Canyon National Recreation Area is now becoming known as a world-class destination for people from all over the, the world. And Horseshoe Bend Overlook is one of those things that is driving that visitation. And for those who like the thrill of towing the brim of a cliff, that will still be an option as the railing only covers 100 feet. But take it from these visitors, the picture isn't worth your life. It's not the first thing you think of, but at the same time, it's, it's always there. Like, you gotta be careful. This is, you know, <laughs> no joke. Courtney Griffin, Fox 10 News.